I'm definitely gonna have to be refilling food. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Steven here from Food Chain Feeders. And today we're gonna be feeding some doobie roaches, guys. So I have prepared a little bit of a uh, apple and carrot mixture, which I have right over here. Take a look. In here is a couple of apples and some shredded uh, carrots. The apples are shredded as well. And we're gonna be grabbing a, a bit of a scoop and then we're gonna be placing it right on top of here of the doobie roaches. And hopefully you guys will see a lot of doobie roaches eating them. So let's go ahead and get that started. So first up is gonna be the first tub. Let's go ahead and grab a, you know, a good scoop here. And let's just sprinkle it on top of there. And let's see what happens. In a couple minutes, there should be a good amount of dubias right on top of right there. Let's see. Let's grab some more here. And let's bring it down over here. And let's see what happens over here with this one. And uh, hopefully these guys love the little, the sweetness from the apple. You know, they love carrots. Let's see some more. We'll grab a bigger scoop for this tub because this tub really, really likes to eat. This is a bigger, uh, really, really well-established colony here. And uh, they love to eat. So let's go ahead and uh, get a couple of carrots and apples in here for these guys. And that's it, guys. That's pretty much it for uh, Doobie Road feedings. Um, you know, carrots, apples, uh, lettuce. You know, roach chow, we feed roach chow as well. I gotta show you guys that uh, so you guys can see. But take a look. Over here we have some some interested dubias. Oh look, these guys are, are running to it right away. So just give it a couple minutes and uh, we'll see how these guys are doing. Look over here, we got a couple participants that are eating the, 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 the mixture, the salad that I prepared for them. And then of course this one. Oh, this one I have. Lots of hope for this one, because this one has a lot of dubias, so there's going to be a good variety of sizes of doobie roaches on top of this mixture here. And then I also have some sticks. So these are just some uh, carrot sticks, and uh, we'll see what what happens um, if I need to add more uh, carrots uh, or more food to this tub. Let's say they finish it right away, then I will go ahead and add the stick so that way uh, they have more food and uh, they're ready to go. So we'll give it a minute and I'll give you guys an update right now. Okay, so over here, I got two more tubs that I wanna feed and show you guys. Over here to the left, we have a uh, really, really populated grow -out tub. There's a lot of doobie roaches in this one. And then over here, there's a breeding tub. So there's a couple males, a couple females, a couple larges as well. But this one, <laughs> watch this guys. I really wanna show you guys this. Check this out, we're gonna grab a couple a good mi size mixture for this one. You guys will see what I'm talking about in just a couple minutes. And we will do the same thing to this one right over here. And uh, just give it a hand. Uh, okay, so just like that, guys. In a couple minutes, I will give you guys an update on this tub right here. And you guys will see how crazy they go over this uh, salad, uh, apples and carrots mixture that I prepared for them. I kind of want to take a bite now. Okay, so I just pulled out two more tubs that I want to feed and show you guys. So let's go ahead and grab a little bit of the salad here. And let's just sprinkle it on top just how we've done the other ones. And by the way, if you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We breed doobie roaches over here. And I love showing you guys, uh, you know, a to a to z what it what it, you know how it is breeding doobie roaches so if you guys want to learn more about breeding doobias and stuff like that make sure you guys hit that subscribe button we just reached over 1,000 subscribers here on our youtube channel and i am so thankful for every single one of you guys it really means a lot to me that you guys enjoy watching my videos and i really want to start making more videos for you guys because it seems like a lot of you guys really enjoy watching the doobie roach videos so we're definitely going to get uh, things, um, you know, kick started back up again on this channel. And, uh, I hope that you guys enjoy the content. So I'll give you guys an update on these two tubs right now. Let's go check on the other ones that we started with. Okay. So here are the first three tubs that we started with and, uh, let's see how they're looking. So over here, we have a bit of activity going on. 
definitely a good amount of activity. You got some small dubias, medium dubias, a lot of females, and I don't see any males. So that means that this tub is a bit low on males, and I need to uh, sprinkle a couple more uh, males in there for uh, production to get uh, you know nice and healthy again. Let's take a look here at this tub. So same thing, I see a one male there. Uh, okay, things are looking pretty decent here. Uh, not too much activity going on. Let's see over here on this one. Yes, we definitely see, see a lot more females. So it seems like uh, pretty much all, some of my tubs need a couple more males in here so we can get a bit more production. And uh, that's just kind of what you have to look for, guys. If you're breeding doobie roaches, uh, you gotta look for things, little things like that um, and really, uh, you know, look at your tubs and uh, inspect them so that way you can see uh, what you're deficient in and you can be way more successful in producing uh, doobie roaches. Okay guys, so here are the grow out tub that I told you guys was really, really cool. And then uh, we have another breeder tub over here. Not too much activity going on with this one here, but guys, take a look at this right here. There is definitely a lot of activity going on over here. These are a lot of my holdbacks. Well, pretty much everything here is a holdback. Uh, this is my grow out tub here. I have small dubias, medium dubias, and as you guys can see, there's some that are already starting to uh, mature. So I'm very, very happy about that. That's a really, really good sign. And yeah, things are definitely moving forward. And guys, this is just the beginning. I'm probably gonna have to refill this tub here because uh, they go through this in a couple minutes, they'll be done and uh, I will have to refill the food. Uh, this tub over here, not too much going on, but this one here, take a look at that. That is definitely some healthy production right there. I produced all of this right here and uh, it's looking great, guys. Definitely is looking really, really good. So let's go over and check up on the other two tubs. Okay, so here are the other two tubs, the last two that we did. And as you can see over here, there's definitely a lot of activity going on. Some hungry dubias. This is a breeding tub that I have. And um, and yeah, we got some, some babies eating over here up at the top. And then we got the females and the other babies eating down there. Over here to the left, we have some more adults enjoying some apples and carrots. So definitely things are looking good. There's a little piece that, that fell right there, a little piece of carrot, and they're going crazy right there in that section. But yeah, guys, let's go check up on the other tubs. Okay, so here is another update on this grow -out tub that I told you guys would be really, really crazy. And as you guys can see, I'm definitely gonna have to be refilling food on this tub right here. There is a lot of dubias. And another really good sign that I'm looking for is seeing some adults in here. The fact that I'm seeing some adults, some mature adults, is a really, really good sign. Uh, if you have a grow tub in your, uh, in your, uh, you know, your your colony, or whatever, um, make sure that you are looking for for adults after a couple of weeks. That way, you can see that your dubias are actually eating, and you have uh, healthy dubias that are making it to adult stage. So it's very, very important that you guys are looking for that. Uh, when I put dubias into this tub, they were the size of tiny, tiny little ones like that. And now we have some adults. So that's a really, really good sign. And guys, you can never have enough holdbacks. If you were trying to breed dubias, you know, really, really make sure they have good heat, good quality food. Uh, you can use water crystals or you can use fruit. Uh, a roach chow is very, very important. We also sell roach chow, doobie roaches. So if you guys are interested in placing an order um, for some doobie roaches or some roach chow, be sure to contact me on Instagram, Food Chain Feeders on there, or you can send me a, a, an email, foodchainfeeders at gmail.com, and you can contact me through there as well. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, video. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was so fun to make this video and I am so uh, happy and motivated to start making uh, more videos for you guys on Doobie Roach care, Doobie Roach feeding, Doobie Roach breeding, everything about Doobie Roaches. And who knows, maybe we might start breeding another type of roach 
Uh, I think that might be really, really fun. So, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching, all your support, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody.